If you've never had the opportunity to go launch rockets, it's really fun. It's something we did when kids were smaller. We're gonna go do it again with you. In this video series, we're going to do three videos. The first one is Jacob is going to build this generic E2X rocket and show you how to put that one together. That's actually an intermediate one. The other one is this one. I will show you how to build this one, the Dragonite, which is a beginner level one. And then in the third video, we're going to go launch these rockets off. So let's go build these rockets. Have you ever wanted to build and launch a model rocket with your dad? Well, if you haven't had that opportunity, we're gonna do that today. And Jacob is gonna help me put some together. We got two different rockets. Jacob, which one? You've got the... Uh, I'm gonna be building the generic E2X flying model rocket kit. And I have the uh, Dragonite. And we're gonna put links to these in the description below if you wanna do this. All right, so we went and looked to see what we had already because we used to do this. You remember when we launched model rockets? It's been yep. a few years. Uh, but I think I got all the stuff that we didn't have. We have a launch pad, we have some starters, but we didn't have any engines and we didn't have any starters for the engines, so I got some extras. And I wasn't sure if we needed uh, wadding. By the way, you see that we're working on the kitchen table every day, and you want to cover it so that you don't hurt it or you don't get cut on it. The proper way is to read the instructions. Supplies, we're gonna need masking tape, we're gonna need scissors, and we're gonna need glasses. And on here, it has the breakout of what it looks like in terms of my kit. That yes, fit. mine has the uh, parts diagram. All right, with my rocket kit, we've got the uh, motor housing mostly assembled. To start out, it has the, uh, the motor tube and it had you measure from one end and put a line at one inch, as well as a line at uh, two and a half inches. For the two and a half inch line, you make a one eighth inch cut using an X-Acto knife. And that's so that the motor retaining clip can uh, sort of seat into that. Once you had the clip inserted in there, you put the black ring down to the line that you made at one inch, and then you glue that in place. You can use, uh, they recommend carpenter's glue, but we are using hot glue. At which point, the next ring we put in, it was the blue ring, and that goes into the uh, end that doesn't have the, the retaining clip on it. And so that gets glued there. And then the next thing the uh, kit tells me to do is to mark a line all the way down the body tube of the rocket. And I'll show you how they had us do that really quick. It's pretty straightforward. You come over to a door frame, such as this one, and you just line the tube up there and you make a mark all the way down. And that makes sure that it's a straight line as well as a right angle to the tube. All right, so next what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the little assembly that we made and this gets inserted into the fin section. And if you see here, on the top of the fin section, there's a small cutout. That's for the retaining clip to nest into. So this goes in from the bottom. And then once the clip comes through, it just goes right through that little cutout I showed you. And then we're gonna take some glue and we're gonna take this larger green tube we're just going to put a small bead of glue around the inside. And anytime you're working with hot glue, remember it's hot glue for a reason, so you need to be careful with it. It will burn you. After that experience, we're changing our tactic here. What we're going to do, I've already started the green tube onto where it's going to go. I'm just going to put a bead of the hot glue around the base of this and then press it down the rest of the way. Next step is to insert the motor mount into the body tube, like so. And this line that we drew on it earlier, we're going to use this to line up the launch lug. And so I'm going to make sure that that is on the opposite side as the clip. And so I'm going to put a little bit of glue. If it's glued on there good, then that doesn't do anything other than add an eighth of an inch to the height of the rocket. 
We can hide that with a sticker later. So the launch lug, this will slide over the guide rod when you launch the rockets and this gets it started on a straight path up. And so this is gonna be attached one inch up from the fin section. Put a small bead of glue, just attach and ensure that it is aligned. Purely for looks, we're gonna erase the line that we drew on there for reference. The next step on the uh, front page of the instructions right here, you see it's got this trapezoid for us to cut out. You see there are dotted lines on the front of this? You just put a crease on each of those. We're gonna put a dot of glue down on the second section of this paper. And we're gonna press the cord into it and fold the first section over. We're gonna come over here to the third section and we're gonna put a good amount of glue and we're gonna fold everything over. So while we're waiting for this to cool down, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the X-Acto knife and in the nose cone, we're gonna cut out this little overfill segment from where we're going to attach both the shock cord and the parachute to the rocket. So we're gonna put some glue on the outside of the second segment of it. And then we're gonna attach that. It has to be at least an inch and a half in for else the nose cone won't sit all the way down. All right, so now I'm just pressing it while it cools down and sets. And so now we've got the rocket with the cord attached to it on the inside. We're going to attach the cord to the nose cone. You can use whatever knot is your favorite knot. I am going to use a double half hitch. It won't go anywhere. It doesn't matter what knot you use as long as it's a secure one. And then we are gonna open up the parachute. Each string attaches at either end to one of the corners of the parachute. And so you line them up so that they're all in the same orientation. And then we are gonna pass the loop of all three strings through this little opening on the nose cone. So we get the loops through. And then what we're gonna do is pass the parachute back through those loops so that now when we cinch it down, it's attached and it's not gonna go anywhere. So to pack the rocket, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this wadding here you're gonna take between three and four squares. And so you're just gonna crumple these up lightly and stick them into the rocket. The wadding just provides sort of a heat barrier between the parachute while the engine is firing so that it doesn't melt. To pack the parachute, you fold it in half, then in half again, then once more. And then you bring the center of it down to the edge of it and you sort of fold it in on itself, like so. And then what you're gonna do is sort of wrap the uh, parachute cord around it. You're gonna put the shock cord into the tube of the rocket. And then when you get close, you're just gonna pack the parachute in there as well. Make sure you tuck everything in nicely, but nothing is binding, just so that it's smooth enough when the uh, nose cone needs to blow off. And there we have a fully assembled rocket ready for an engine and to launch. However, it does come with stickers for us to use as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and load the motor into my rocket now just to get that taken care of before we get to the park. We're gonna take the igniter and we're just gonna stick that all the way into the hole on the bottom side of the motor until it bottoms out. And then we'll hold it in place while we take this little pink plug. That just is also inserted into the motor. We will take the motor and we'll insert it with the igniter facing out into the rocket. And then when we light it off, this will ignite the motor and it'll send the rocket up. 
All right, so that is how you build this rocket, the generic E2X. Uh, if you're interested in building this one for yourself, be sure to check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And in the next video in the series, we're gonna see how to build the Dragonite rocket. Stepsons, have you ever wanted to mo launch a lot of rocket? <laughs> <laughs> so to do that, it had me cut. So to do that, it had me cut. Ouch. <laughs> and it's also important that you don't make a mark on the door. Frame. Say that. It's also important that you don't make a mark on the door frame. I don't want your moms to be mad at me because you're making a model rocket from watching this video. And in the next video in the series... <laughs>